Today, we're out here on George Lestrange going fishing for some monster bass. Come along for the ride. We got Matthew over here. All right, we got the kayak all set up. My boys, Matthew's already out there. Here we go. We're gonna get going on you. We have to switch onto, onto first person view here. All right, time to go get us some bass. Onward. Since it's so shallow here, we're actually gonna go ahead and swap over to the tried and true, I like to call it the bass worm. As you can see here, this has been <laughs> lightly used. This is a pretty good color for clear water. All right guys, we got the old wacky rigged white worm. I'm gonna cast it across there toward those reeds. And I look the reed, <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> Well, this is one way to get over there. Yeah, I hooked the damn reed on my first cast, dude. Probably just scared away all the bass. Oh, what? No. Jesus Christ. Matthew coming in hot over here. Oh, damn. Yarg. Damn. <laughs> that was my bass, and you just messed it up right there. <laughs> All right, we're actually gonna rig this up for a Texas rig. Boom, baby. Big money. Oh yeah, big money, baby. Big money. Oh no! No! Dude! Hey man, white worm Texas rig. All right guys, just to up our chances here after that big loss I just took, we're gonna go ahead and load up a little bit of power bait on the micro pole here with a super long leader going down from a bobber. And we're gonna just float it because I'm telling you, you can see down into this, there's little fish all over the place down here. So that'd be really fun to catch one of those little guys while we're uh, getting skunked from the bass. As you can see, bobber. all that before we even get down to the hook. I'm so confident in this and I'm actually gonna double it up with power bait. Oh my God. Oh man, I just spilled all the power bait. Matthew caught a fish before me. Dang it. I'm gonna put a GoPro on his ass. Matthew with the ginormous 50 pound world record holding bass world over here. Bass. All right, baby. Oh yeah. What a beauty. Come on, wake up. Come on. Oh, as it floats back up to the top. <laughs> Where'd it go? She floated down there somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey yo. Hey yo. I have an idea though. I'm going to put some of those pinch weights, split shot or whatever you call it. All right, we got that split shot on there like that. I'm gonna drop her down, let that drag behind us, and that's gonna float down there right above the weeds while I am fishing up top. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, a behemoth. Now this people is where you'll see the problem with having a freaking fish in a kayak. All right, letting this bail out is almost impossible. What a bass. All right, bud. Thank you for for letting me catch your ass. Get moving. Uh oh. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> I let I let him go a little upside down. He didn't know what to do about it. What a beautiful day. Seriously. Look at that Florida sunset. God. Unbelievable. I know, dude. Blue and then orange and then over there it's like yellow. It's seriously crazy. So what what are your thoughts here on the my kayak's better, my fishing's better. I'm better. All right, so how would you rate uh this George Villa strange water um, out of 10? Bass aren't that big, but there's some there. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 
That's seven bass out of ten, baby. Oh my god. That's a pretty high, it's pretty high it's rating. It's a beautiful, gorgeous. yeah, it's a beautiful the spot. Amazing. You yep. can swim out there. That's true.